guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episode 8 of Didn't I Say My Ability? Didn't I Say to Make My Abilities Average in the Next Life? So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. So yeah, Pauline is gone. Yeah. Well, she went off with somebody. I, I don't think she's in trouble. I'm just hoping she's okay. Okay. Then what's the point of writing every day? <laughs> oh. Pauline? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You telling me that your brother is marrying this child right here? <laughs> okay. That happens in the books? <laughs> I mean, I'm still on book one. Uh, but uh, okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh my eye. <laughs> but then why didn't Pauline see anything? Maybe she didn't want to burn. Will y'all be related? <laughs> That's good, right? Ow, my eye, oh my god. <laughs> That's a really good title for an episode of my guys. Uh Search that dad, no one gives a F about him. Yeah, you don't want him to do anything to your mom or your sister. Brother. Mm. 
So screw you. Hey, kitty. I wouldn't want to mess with that kitty, though. So my thing is, I guess it used to be a lot happier than it is now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, you know, as much as you love your brother, Pauline comes first. That's your friend. Well, I mean, also in a way, a family member, because you guys are your own tight knit family, but. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, plus I think he would actually kill them, but that's okay. Mm. Yeah, that would die because of you. Oh, screw you. Hmm. Well, yeah, I, I get that, but... Just let her do what she wants. Oh my god. I bet you nobody even found him guilty or anything too, so they just kinda turn the leaf on him maybe. I don't think that's a good idea, guys. There's only three of y'all. <laughs> it's the cover. <laughs> <It's this. laughs> I 
can't. I didn't think that they would have already like been able to show this. Oh my god, that's hilarious. I want to say the reference could be to Sailor Moon, but I'm not 100% sure. I mean, you know, just walking around. She can do that, right? Well, our little brother's gone, and mom's fine, too. Damn, they about to kill him. I mean, hey, go ahead. I ain't mad at you. You guys, what the fuck? No! The Ravens is about to screw everything. Oh my god. Jesus, child. <laughs> Huh. Pauline gonna kill him. She gonna hurt him. She gonna kill him. Like, honestly, these two are no match for Pauline. Oh, fuck. I cannot bleak my eyes so quickly because that hurts.
Girl. Damn, like, whoa. No. Hmm. Adele? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, you didn't taught her some real good things. Well, the funny thing is she is stronger than you. Hush, Pippet. Right? You know, she can still be the perfect lady and still be a knight at the same time. But, yeah, Mavis don't want that. You can't decide to make your daughter happy and do whatever the heck you want her to do. You need to let her live her own life. Well... <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to disown him, are you?
Yeah, basically. Oh my god. Seriously? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, I mean, he's your dad, you know? Oh, Jesus. Well, you know what, hold on. Let me say this. At least your dad had some compassion. Unlike Adele's dad. Now it makes me wonder if it possibly happened in book three. I mean, with the fact is, it has the same, the one thing that's a little different is her mask is white and it's not pink. So, I mean, it's possibility that it happened. I'm not 100% sure. But like I said, I'm only on book one. I haven't had time to really read it since last week since I've been busy with stuff and Thanksgiving's coming up this week. So, in a way, it's a perfect time to read it out. That fucking hurts. Out. Um, but it was good and I really enjoyed it. I love the fact that it also focused not only on Pauline, but Mavis as well, because the biggest thing I wanted to know was if we were going to see any of her brothers or her father, and we've only really seen her father. So now I'm kind of guessing with the rest of the episodes that we have left for this show before it's over, are we possibly going to see her father? I mean, there's, I think there's a picture of him in this book. I mean, not her father, her um, her brothers. I think there's one of the pictures in here. I gotta look again. Yes, there is. Because they literally look the same. So yeah, that's her brother. One of her brothers in this book. Just don't know who he is. So, I mean, but it's interesting. Now, it, but it just makes you wonder. For this, cha for this episode, what's in this book? And I'm not even on this third book. I'm only on the first, but I ain't gonna know until a long time. But... I can't wait. I think it's going to be really, really good. And like from what this thing is saying, and there's something about the past for Mavis and Pauline, and I, I don't know. There's got to be more about these two because the funny thing is these two are the biggest characters for this series as of right now who, before this episode, I would say before episode 8 and episode 7, Mavis and Pauline did not get the most, like, backstory for the both of them but as of this episode i say they're both on equal terms as adele and um and reina but i don't know i mean it, it could still change we're only on episode eight we'll be on episode nine next week and you never truly really know what in the world is in store for these girls and who they could possibly meet or um encounter in the next few episodes because i think the show is like 12 to 13 episodes and since the fact is we're getting closer and closer to the end of the series and I really don't want this show to be over. I really want this show to be like able to get a second season but at the same time I'm like I think by the way it's going I don't think they're going to give it a second season. I believe they're going to just try to end it as quickly and fast as possible and then they'll probably leave it on a really big cliffhanger and then it's like just go out and read the fucking books and just find out what the hell happened to yourself. But it's just oh, I can't. I will say, yes, the mask in the case was a nice touch, and it had to pay homage to Sailor Moon, because that's the only, like, uh, magical girl costume that I could immediately think of that uses both a cape and a mask, because it can't be, like, you know, something from Persona 5, because they their costumes would have been not the same, they all would have been individually different, 
and then they would have had an individual mask. So that that's my thing. It's got to be like the very I think first costume of Sailor Moon because it had the cape and the mask, except it was white and the cape was uh, black and red at the same time because she was using it with like tuxedo mask or some ish. I don't really remember. It's been a really long time since I've read freaking Sailor Moon the manga, but it was so good. I really enjoyed it, and I'm glad we got to see Pauline's mom and her brother actually have a speaking role in this episode instead of in the past because we've seen them talk but to have her really see both of her two other family members again and then you know the dick of the stepfather it's like you see you know between pauline's stepfather and then adele's stepfather no stepmother they're both worse i mean the ish that her father did to her in this book in the first book like honestly pissed me off so freaking much and it's like I'm honestly glad she doesn't live with her family anymore because they were such assholes. Not her um, actual mom and dad before she died. Her new parents. They are, like, her mom was sweet to her and so was her grandfather. But her dad, because of the fact is, like, she's had her Cinderella moment, as she said a couple of episodes ago. Her new stepmother and step um, stepsister are such assholes to her. And then the dad is the same thing and it's so annoying. But... Other than that, guys, that is my reaction review towards episode 8 of Didn't I Say to Make My Abilities Average in the Next Life. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magic Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Monday for episode 9. Bye, guys. <laughs>